Thanks for staying with us. So Senator Shehu um, Sani recently shared his opinion on the total strike declared by the Academic Staff Union of Universities in the, on, on social media. According to Sani, if you do not see anything wrong when leaders flash images of their siblings' matriculation or graduation ceremonies in some of the world's most pre prestigious or even elitist universities, you shouldn't see anything wrong when ASU strikes and uh, the demand for better deal for Nigerian universities. He asks those whose children are in prestigious universities worldwide to think for those who think about those whose children are here in Nigeria. So I know that um, Minister Adamu Adamu uh, of um, uh, Minister of uh, Ministry of Education, can I read this? Made a statement mm -hmm. in 2013 mm -hmm. concerning strikes. So I'd like you to read that Ua. What he said was that, so instead of hectoring ASU to call off its strike, the nation should be praying for more of its kind in other sectors of the economy, since the government has shown itself incapable of doing the right thing until it is forced. The nation should be thinking of organizing the, uh, the Ni Association of Nigerian Farmers to go on strike to force the government to do for um, to, to force the government to do for agriculture what ASU has been struggling to make make it do for education. That's from Al Haji Adamu Adamu in 2018, and 2013. now 2013, and now he's currently. So the question is, is he doing what he's the supposed to do? The Minister of Education. And ASU, obviously, so it's almost as though <laughs> he's course, in course, support of what ASU is doing. He's doing what he's preaching. And that's why what uh, Sheo San is saying is something that I love seriously. We cannot continue to insist that we are a country in recession and that we must be patient, we must manage resources and see these people, politically exposed persons, people in the house, people in the executive, continue to live in prosperity yes mm -hmm. so. and the, you know the gap is extremely wide wide yeah you are on this side of the fence looking at them over there wondering are we together and these same people are saying don't worry we are working we are thinking about 100 percent but your children even the president's children mm. graduated from prestigious <coughs> universities abroad whether right. sponsored whether whatever i don't care right the truth is that they flaunt these pictures in the face of, the, uh, of, of, of Nigerians. you know, Nigerians, when you have Lautech being shut down for more than eight months, more than a year now, it's, you know, it's insensitive. Right. And mm -hmm. it's the height of it. But now, okay. but we're thinking about that, um, Nima, when Obasanjo will tell us to wrestle power from the leaders, is that what, you think that's what ASU is doing right now? Because, are we, because in the past, we say, ASU, please be considerate now. The students are in school. But from going on the back of what Obasanjo has said, even this week, saying, listen, Power cannot be served to you, uh, you a la carte. You have to demand it. So are we supporting ASU in this, in this situation now? I would like to correct a notion, first of all, that um, a lot of fingers are pointing to the federal government. But this is not only the federal government. There was an agreement with both the state and the federal government. So both parties have uh, questions to answer. Right. Now, f another thing we should look into is what are the agitations of these people? Yeah. Are they legitimate? Of course. Yes, they are. But we should also realize that this agreement was made 2007-2009 where we had an, another administration. I'm not saying this present government does not have an answer, to, uh, should not answer to this. The government is a continuum, right? It's a continuum. But we should not also forget that at this point in time when this agreement were, where the, the agreements were made, there was we had oil boom, we had a there lot of, there was money, there were a lot of things in place. So now, with the whole situation, they have a right to their grievances. Yes. But at the same time, it will not be a bad idea that ASU sits down and look at the reality of okay. now. Good, good no. point, Esther, but the thing is, um, why does it have to come to the point where ASU says, I'm striking for federal government to now call them, say, you know what, we don't have enough money, let's discuss, let's renegotiate right. those terms that were agreed back right. then. I think in every sensible government, what we should look at is priority. What is priority right now for Nigeria? Health is priority. Education is priority. But we see over and again, we see our leaders not prioritize what should be prioritized. Now, I saw um, Bukala Saraki's son's graduation. I, I saw loads of them all over social media. If we truly want to create a system where Nigeria will be better, I would have said, okay, in the spirit of patriotism, you would make sure your children go to local universities. So far, amongst government officials, I think it is only Fayoshe, Governor Fayoshe, that I heard that his children actually go through universities locally in Nigeria. Wow. How, many, how okay. many of them are willing? 
Because the system of education right now, it is warped. Even the, what ASU is clamoring for said, I'm not with ASU, I'm not with the government. Because even the current state of our universities, most of the, uh, what's it called? Most of the curriculum that they are using, they are obsolete. Absolutely. We do, if you graduate from a university, it cannot guarantee that immediately you can solve Nigeria's problem. Right. What I should, have, I should have heard probably the federal government say is that, okay, we don't like that agreement. But what we want to do is that what the um, um, president, sorry, uh, acting president Oshiba just said about focusing on, on science, uh, mathematics, and, um, and what other subject he was talking about. Okay, let us fund these universities and let them start to churn out graduates in this place that can solve immediate national problems. But we don't have that. So ASU, for me, their request is vague, right. I think. Because we should focus on okay. creating better educational systems. Yeah, that, well, well, it well, is not only money. Well, it is not only well, money well, that well, solves that that's problem. That's the bigger picture. But the truth is that there are immediate needs of people who have been owed legitimate salaries. salaries. Let truth me let come in here. salaries. But now, one of the um, legislations of ASU is funds for revitalization of public universities. And I remember when they started this agitation, saying that the state of our universities, public universities, federal and states, nationwide, was so bad that, you know, they had to force government, which was why Adamu Adamu at that time made that statement. And I am saddened by the fact that, you know, a government comes into power recognizing the issues on ground. Until date, he's saying that, you know, because we are not in abundance. If they had been meeting, because, you know, the first strike that they attempted, uh, what's his name? The Minister for Labour met with them and they called it off within a week. If there had been continuous meetings with yeah. them, negotiations with them, and you know, with the sub government doing its part, I'm sure us would not just wake up one morning no. and decide to shut our students out of school. Nobody so should ask, the minister ask why actually they should said, go on strike. The minister was saying, in the defense of the federal government, that um, the ASU did not follow due process before actually engage on the, on the strike. That they're supposed to the write and give them a notice ahead of time before going on. For how many years? <laughs> but so, but the point is that that's now. actually besides the point. The point is that these meetings should have been um, I initiated. Think, I think way if ASU wants answer. to be serious about revamping the educational sector, the university system. You can't be sorry, Stu. You can't be serious with uh, 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 if they've not paid your salaries. Hold yeah, on. Let, let, me let, let, them, let them shut it down and tell the federal government if you do not raise the equipment that we're using, the, the lecture, uh, what's it called, that we're using up to standard, we're not going back to school. They have families. No. Uh, uh, Who uh, suffers? I'm saying, because suffers? let me tell you something. Who suffers? The reason we have a, a, a very huge growth in the primary and secondary um, uh, sector is because a lot of private in individuals have gone into um, uh, what's it called educational systems and if you check they are self-sufficient the schools fund themselves it's either the federal government hands off universities no, and allow them no and allow them raise the funds themselves so that they can manage the schools properly or if they want to fund it they should put it up to standard before the lecturers even go to the schools to go and resume i will not agree that you totally privatized universities you think so yes because okay. looking at right now how many you my, my my interns were telling me that they are paying up to a million a year Ooh, uh, can you pay that fee for a, for three or four children so let's even remove privatizing uh, uh, universities. universities then going back to show sunny about people sending their children abroad i don't have a problem if you can if you can pay for it because it's not a, even outside the country people send their children to other countries to learn i'm saying that even if, if people are going outside the country to learn the ones in nigeria should if nigeria, you keep going should outside the country wait. to learn esther if you can't when will our universities be fixed because most of these government officials I, are supposed to understand the process of what is going on in the are you saying private people can go abroad but public servants shouldn't should, they, should say, they might put it that way okay. but you cannot tell someone that can afford afford it legitimately to say you will not send your children outside if you can afford it right right i guess the reason nigerians go abroad to study is because of the state of the education system in nigeria oh, that's basic that's it it is not because of we are doing tourism or we want to expose our children basically because we do not you know have trust in the system and a government that is you know that is proactive should know this and you know we should be seeing continuous reforms that you know will be <coughs> engineered through towards growth we You're cannot right. continue to remain like You're this. right there has to be a focus and a vision because uh, there's no vision for the country what direction are we taking are we investing in education no so th that, that 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 really should be the direction of the of our country well let's just take a break now when we come back we're supposed to have our guest to take the couch hopefully he's here stay with us we'll be right back
Thanks for staying with us. So, ASU has commenced an indefinite nationwide strike, as you know. According to ASU President Biodun uh, Ogunyemi, the action became necessary owing to an alleged breach of the MOU for 2009 FG uh, ASU agreement on the financing of the state universities. Also, a breach of the conditions of service and refusing to honor uh, the earned academic allowance and renegotiation of the agreement. Joining us, obviously, supposed to be uh, Danny Carey, but I think he's stuck in traffic. Mm. Um, so we're just going to have a conversation because, oh, before he gets here. But um, Nima, you're going to bring an angle yes, I was going to, bring to this angle. conversation. It's already frustrating to an average Nigerian when you see the, the lifestyle of our lawmakers, for instance, the entire cast and crew of the National Assembly. Is already frustrated. So imagine how a lecturer who probably lectured the likes of Dino Melaye, seeing his lifestyle, and you are in the university system, you're doing your researches, you're still training students, you're being old salaries, you are using, you know, dilapidated labs for research, you're, you'll be frustrated. And this, this, is, this has been ongoing forever. Now they had an agreement, yes, in 2009, 2009 but government is a continuum, and somebody inherited this agreement. Is the intention of this new government to review it or, you know, to cancel the, the entire agreement and re enter another agreement with them? These are the things that we are talking about. But the, because of their lack of ac action at this time, you know, these people had to go on strike. So you now, wonder what the minister has been doing since they resumed right. the That's why I wondered. Because this minister, this same minister, Adamu Adamu, we called him out on the, on the uh, uh, Queen's, Queen's College. College issue. And, you know, it's just the same silent attitude. Now, the ASU has had to go on strike so that they will get these reforms. If the National Assembly every year are the ones, you know, approving and reviewing our budget, and they leave a budget of 350 something billion for a university that when they know, they should know of an agreement because most of them are, you know, recycled me right. members. I mm -hmm. can't on the number of my, on the fingers of my hand, the new members in the National Assembly. If all of them are saying that they, know, they, they don't know about this, well, they should know. Of the 850, uh, 880 billion, like billion you corrected now, me, yeah. of which 30 billion only has been met. They should okay. know and they should not be giving us a budget that is inadequate, inadequate. to meet the agreements and exactly. the needs of that sector. Right. right. It goes back to the first statement I made misplaced priority. Because it's so clear, even from the budget that she's mentioning, that they are budgeting 300 and something billion. Our budget was 50 billion no, for education. Wait now, I'm saying. From that angle already, it clearly tells you that these people are not ready to change the status quo of our educational system. Where we have a big problem, Nigeria problem is bigger than ASU, honestly, right now. Because we do not understand that the, the, the solutions that we seek, mm. we can actually generate them from within. So the question now, Uwa, is, yes, the problem is bigger than ASU, but... In this situation where ASU has gone on strike, who suffers? It's yes. the kids. The, the, the and students. so, the, is that, is that, um, Maya, would you is rather that, have, is that decision? Would you rather have half baked graduates or graduates that come so out of the university? Are we suggesting that let's Hold shut on. down universities yes. for like 10 years? That is my suggestion. It's not about 10 years or how long, how long? I'm I saying that we, the, 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 the educational sector right now, as it stands, cannot do anything any good for us right no, now. No, I, I so can we, no, point, can point, we, okay. if we are fighting, right. let's know that we have a clear vision. Right. That if we are fighting, let us fight it well, that at the end of the fight, right. we are turning out graduates that can That's solve it. problem and, and earn a living for themselves. I don't agree with that because even with all this going on strike, um, everything, universities are producing good people and I'm one, I'm a product. My university... How old are you again? The crux of Please. universities now is different from your time. It's not so long okay. ago. It's just five years ago. So okay. it's, there's not so much difference. Right. I still believe that universities are doing good jobs and right. they are producing good students that want to learn. Because as much as we have deficits in the education sector, people take their time to actually research online. Do Yes, you even come out after all those things, you don't even have a job. Certainly. So let's even look at that also. Right. And right now they are on strike. What do you expect these students to be doing? Let's even go back to Oshun and um, uh, 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 Oyo on this issue of uh, Lao Tech University. How long have these students been out, uh, out of school? Even with the strike, what's happening to the two, two states? So what the point we is making that, hey. okay, you are in session, you're not in session. What comes out is usually half-baked. No. So we're saying, okay, okay. you're saying no. No. So we're saying, okay, even though Esther, it's not half-baked. No, listen. Esther, you are one out of many because you took a personal decision. Go to the universities today. Interact with students. 
there are, there are so many videos online of people that are, I mean, I mean it's, it might be comedy, but I don't take it to remember, be comedy. Remember that thing of a uh, uh, second wife? What was that? The, oh, the, oh, 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 sorry. Oh, where is your mind? This is supposed to be a university student telling you that uh, we, uh, uh, the location of her mind. I'm just saying that you are one out of many. Don't think because you turned out right means that the educational system, what is happening in universities, they right. are doing the right thing. Right. They, they are not. I will not say oh, I, okay. I'm the right. only one. Oh. I have a, I, two or three of my friends yeah. have gone abroad yeah. for their master's the and is, they are one of the best the in their class. Yes, you're right. We're both right. But I think the point is that the country needs to really invest in yes. education properly ah, because yes. it's not about you graduating. It's about us fixing the problem. Thank you. There are so many issues. Tires out there, nobody mm. using them. There's so many um, recycled uh, areas we need. Um, issues of irrigation. We need to train issues, issues civil engineers that would construct roads that we do not have to pay billions of dollars that's to said, foreigners. She's looking at the bigger picture, <laughs> not the immediate graduate and get a job. Yes, as much mm. as I agree, it's still the body language of our Leaders. Politicians, our leaders. For the National Assembly, for instance, the Lautech issue has Can been. Can I pause you for a second? When you say body language, are you now saying that a politician or somebody in the, in the legislature cannot post a picture of his daughter graduating? Well, wait now. <laughs> I wanted to learn this point. Lautech has been on strike forever. Now, the issues of Lautech is, of course, funding between the two states. Right. A proactive National Assembly, knowing that these two states they don't have work again. Hmm. is to review whatever law puts Lautech into existence and take Lautech into federal government hands and put funds, make funds available in the, in the, in the, through the National, National University Council for, for Lautech. But you see these people sit down and buy cars and, buy cars <laughs> and they are concerned about wardrobes. They even review constitution, they have, we have issues with that. If we say the federal government all the time, the federal government all the time, yes, the federal government can do so much hmm. they can do as much on these issues when are we going to see the signs from these other people who get paid allowances that are bogus their willingness to sacrifice Maya. right that's the issue Maya. As, Maya. have they been able to reduce the right. monies they get so far so that we meet this need that we have Maya. already Maya. On Maya. Maya. we have um, um technical schools in nigeria i believe right what i think you know, instead of waiting for a government that is not ready to invest in education, I think these universities and technical colleges should look within. What we can start to do is find a way to convert intellectual property of these schools that can bring economic liberation for them. You can decide to invent things that can be sold within, that can even be exported. There are so many things. We are not thinking innovation. We are waiting for handouts all the time. Because I believe if the universities and these technical schools are ready, they can generate internal funds with their intellectual property. You can create things. You can do research. It's not just going to school. Like for, I mean, if you go to school and you just read to pass an exam and get a 2-1 or a first class, as far as I'm concerned, it's a waste of my time and my energy. Okay, but when I'm thinking, what can I create? How can I add value? There is no way you will not get value in return okay, in terms of economic let me, let's uh, take some uh, um, financial okay, uh, liberation. We're having um, issues Israel. with our phone line, so we apologize for that. Okay. But, um, Israel it says, demand on the federal government is necessary because the federal government has taken education in Nigeria for granted. Awala Jalatunji says, it's so clear that the successive government has abdicated their duty towards education, but there has to be a holistic approach to solve the problem. Double Moore says, our, politi our politicians, our leaders are so... Oh, our politicians are leaders so sad. God will judge. And um, Murita, Murita Miki Yusuf says, let's make it compulsory for all top government officials to send their words to Nigerian schools and stop going to hospitals abroad. Right. Oluato Silawa says, what are the investors doing with their internally generated revenue? Nigeria I Panda think, says, yeah. education would only be prioritized in this country if children of the government were part of it so unfortunate mixed power says jokes apart these clips are worrisome it shows the height of decadence in the education and um, enlightenment um, sec sector so nobody has answered my question no. should Which they question? or should they not show their pictures of their kids graduating from not with the state of education that we are in i don't think the professor Islam says do not eat in front of an hungry man hmm. do not Exhibit uh, abundance in the front of someone that, and even to the point of exhibiting a uh, uh, romance in front of an unmarried person. He says that you should. That means you should be compassionate and be sensitive to the needs of the person next door. You cannot continue to tell Nigerians be, be sacrifice while in uh, tighten your belt, tighten your belt. Things are we are, in, we are on top of the game. We are, we are we are working for you. We are for Change. you. And then we see this abundance. You can at this time. In fact, you should be criminal. 
to have you flood the pictures <laughs> of your children abroad with Wait, the state of education. If you, you even saw that the, uh, the there was it yesterday we discussed um, the Edo uh, House of uh, the the, uh, the uh, speaker. Mm. That he said that he would take two weeks off just yes, to go and, just to go and, and celebrate. celebrate. Because, because, he's he's getting, because, because he's getting sitting allowance. The fact that if you're the fact, leaving the fact that you're a government official, you have you have a child, you have a family, you want to you want to be excited about something. I don't think so far the wealth is not ill-gotten. Allow them to flaunt their children. We're, we're, all, talking children. About, we're all talking no, about. Let me explain. We're all talking about universities, but on, all of us here send our kids to private schools. Ha. So if Thank we are you. that patriotic. Why don't you ah, send Mariah, our children Mariah, to I When I went Mariah, to that plenary session said? yesterday and I saw that all those children, not even one, came from a private or a public school, all private of them, school. I really had, you know, hope for it. But sadly, Mariah, if you go to these public schools, it takes the grace of God for your child to go in and come out, you know, the same. The, the facility, we are, we're not concerned. We see, that's why I'm saying that it is okay for us to, to talk. But the truth is that for us to make a headway right now, we cannot depend de uh, solely on the government. Right. There has to no, be some can't. private involvement. Right. Because we have seen that some private schools have proven over the years, 20, 30 years, how they can manage you know, their schools and it's still coming right. out, bringing okay, out top, let's, let's, top graduates. Let's take a break. I hope our Danny Kiria can be here. And so I would like to really speak to him because I know he's really, he works in a, he's a lecturer in the University of Lagos and it would be nice for him to be on here. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Unfortunately, Dan, Dr. Dan Ikeri couldn't make it. I mean, still stuck in traffic. And also, our phone lines are bad. So Sorry. we have to just continue the conversation. Right. Calm down. <laughs> Nima, uh, I have something to say. <laughs> Please, I have something to say. Because, you see, we, it, will be, it will be wrong for us to just go on and on and not bring solutions. In all fairness and honesty, Mariah, we don't all need to go to universities. True. We do not all need to go to universities. I think the government should start looking into proper no, and when i say proper not the kind of vocational schools that we have here there's someone that would decide that i want to train to become the best plumber in the you understand that would take me to do projects that are worth billions of naira can the government fund that kind of vocational school where i graduate as a plumber yeah can the government yes or a mechanic or a a a, a bricklayer or a quantity surveyor then we should we should start focusing on skills. on skills that can move us forward. You see this degree, degree thing. That's why a lot of people even go to these universities, bribe their way through schools, come out with two ones, and they do not have anything to offer. Okay, I don't want to so, switch too no, much. No, I'm saying I'm that as you should understand that they are not as important. Honestly, if we truly understand where we are headed, we really don't need universities but like as that. You, they, as family. We we those, in, those people there that are fighting have families too who need to go to these schools. So you must understand that they, they have legitimate rights. I know and they saying, do. Yes, so I'm saying that, that these solutions, important. what we should be focusing on is how we can transform our nation. It's not asking to do that. I'm it's saying, the minister of education. It's the federal government that should do I'm that just to set the agenda. Right. Then, so universities so are not as important. Asus, yes, Nigerians yes, have are. an attitude of um, you know, attaching importance to barista doctor esquire so esquire you have to go to school to university to get them it now it really doesn't matter how you get them that's why you have an intern who would have that result we're laughing about during the break Terrible. if it was important the content and what you can actually achieve with your mr esquire barista whatever you attach to your name it's at that point you will see quality right because it's extremely important that you go to university to get title you will see at the point of jam Somebody that has sweaty cannot even write, you know, a, 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 a clear essay, essay yes, yes. on how the state of Nigeria investes is today in Nigeria. That's the problem. Now, now our education system is so up that the people that are supposed to be checking all these, uh, what they call miracle centers and all that for exams, <laughs> are relaxed. They see it as creating business opportunity when somebody says, okay, don't worry, I know you want to go to school. I'll meet your need What's to get into center? school. <laughs> where your, where your, your, sc your score starts will be inflated because somebody right. else is writing your exam right. and you are getting the admission. Right. That's why you see these kind of things. But when you are the one that wrote your admission yourself, okay. you will go to school, you will get a first class yeah. that you can defend. Right. 
We've certainly switched the conversation now. In the overall, yeah, yeah. I just think with <laughs> what Ua said and what Nima has said, the whole educational sector needs an overhaul. No, but I think what I want us to leave is this a conversation systemic because unfortunately issue. our guests couldn't make it and um, Asso obviously is hot and as I was talking about us, Asso. But I think what, what one of the things we've hit here is the fact that the reason why Asso is striking is that the federal government has not put education first. They've not yes. made it priority. And they're not Think. sensitive. And they are not sensitive to the fact that we need lecturers. to actually um, 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 engage these lecturers properly and give them remuneration properly. And also, they're also falling back on their agreement. So we understand there's no money, but they have, they sh from, the, from the moment the minister took office, you should have called ASU. So, okay, what do we do to negotiate? And That's you taking serious. education serious, understanding that children's lives are at stake. If these guys go on strike, X amount of children wouldn't be out of school. But well, because it seems as though they're not taking that serious, it's not priority for them. Yeah, okay, as Asu goes on strike, that's their business. They have to have five months, they will go back. And Asu is not the only sector. We have Asu. Okay. We have Asu. Asu is likely to join this. Nasu is likely to join. Right. We have the secondary schools, the yeah. unity schools. We have all this under the Ministry of right. Education. Now, the Ministry of Education would be proactive if we see them already at least being ahead of, right. of, of all these needs. Okay. For instance, the Queen's College issue happened because somebody had been writing and reporting because we later found out that the, school, the authorities of the school had been writing and saying these are the needs of the school the environmental needs the water and all that and nobody was right. willing to act okay, okay let's take some tweet we have a uh, banky on says uh, lecturers should be paid their dues as at when due put an end to the strikes and make students graduate on time mm -hmm. banky on you also said that uh, a lasting solution should be done as regarding this asso strike in year in year out uh kenwo uh kasandu king says it's quite unfortunate that we've found ourselves in a society that polishes pebbles and darkens diamond our leaders are not just being fair samuel partner says why can't this university declare a yearly financial audit before asking for more funds mm. they to collect um, school fees um, that's what uh, Samson is saying. Joshua wrote to me, says, a law should be passed to ensure all government official children in Nigeria, I mean, children, ch all government officials' children school in Nigeria. This will make them pay attention and improve it. So that, <clears> what that, that tweet, what that tweet is telling me is that even ask themselves, universities sometimes, we do, they, they've not done a proper audit of the funds given to them. Remember, they gave, they gave them 90 billion. Mm. So we need, because if you, if you want us to fulfill our own side of the deal. Let's see that you've actually diligently used up what we gave you. What we gave Ms. you. Ms. Pell says, technical schools still exist and are active. However, paper qualification yes. and school ratings uh, relegated them. Sad. Right. Then, okay. We have to round up now. Um, unfortunately, Dan, Dr. Danny Kire couldn't make it. Uh, he was stuck in traffic. Uh, hopefully, we can bring him back um, soon because he would have loved to hear his views on this. Uh, as yeah. soon. I know he's really passionate about this issue. All right, let's take a break now. We'll see you again tomorrow. I'll find them deep. Bye-bye.